Hi, this is Far Starter, and this is a review of the SIC Kamen Rider 1. So this is the packaging, a really nice. We have uh, Mask Rider 1 here, uh, the SIC logo, Volume 68, Tamashii Nations Bandai, Sculpture by Kenji Ando. And then uh, this is what it looks like on one side, with the Tachibana Racing logo right here. Stripes, and similar to the other side here and then at the back we have a lot of details uh, naming the parts and what this is inclusive with so let's open the box so we can check out more on Kamen Rider 1 in celebration of the 15th anniversary of the super imaginative Jogokin line, Bandai finally released a version of the new Kamen Rider 1. Following the third suit as Shin Kamen Rider 1, details include a lighter green metallic paint application on the chest and on the head, soft pair of antennas, its rider belt cyclone with a concave red plastic and silver gloves and boots. The SIC new Kamen Rider 1 comes packaged with the rider punch and rider kick effect parts, six hands a deformed muffler, extra open mouth head replacement, and a unique Ika Devil stand. The muffler is not extraordinary when placed at the back of the figure but follows really closely to the SIC motif. Its effects split into two and clip together on the forearms and shin. Thought at first to be part of the SIC hero saga, Tamashi Nations included an Ika Devil stand. There are no pegs to hold the mold on the platform but it plants solidly, even gives enough space to include Kamen Rider 1. Now let's go through the articulation points for this figure. The muffler goes side to side and head joint, neck joint, um, the shoulder pads go up and down, arm swivel, upper bicep cut, uh, double jointed elbow, a wrist joint, upper torso and waist and then the chest piece goes side to side to accommodate the rider pose and then um, here, we, here we have leg movement, double jointed knees an ankle joint and a toe joint so there are huge improvements when it comes to articulation because this is more organic than past SICs the last um, SIC that I did get uh, give a huge praise when it comes to articulation was Kamen Rider do Double but with Kamen Rider 1 he has more organic feel to it and uh, somewhat similar to an SH Regard or even better than uh, the SH Regards version of Kamen Rider 1. So I do recommend getting this version. This would really keep fans to continue on collecting SICs. Well true that the latest SICs no longer have diecast parts and this is true with Shin Kamen Rider 1. Even with that, the joints on the figure feels really solid than past releases and moreover, the figure is highly flexible, almost unheard of in SICs. Sure, I've said this before that Kamen Rider Kuga Decade Edition and Kamen Rider Double has the best articulation, but this version of Kamen Rider 1 tops them all. The part that I really didn't like are the soft antennas that you always need to adjust to pair up perfectly and that is my review of the SIC new Kamen Rider 1 if you want to know the possibilities and details of the figure check out the photos at the end of the video and subscribe to my blog for the full written review this is Far Starter. thank you very much for watching and keep it here for more toy reviews